Everyone remembers where they were on September 11, 2001. Robert Satloff, who heads a respected think tank in Washington, D.C., was at Rockefeller Center. September 11th, 2001, I was in New York for a meeting of uh, my institute's board of directors. And I remember coming up the elevator up to the 36th floor and opening up the door to the lobby of this office suite and seeing a puff of smoke coming out of the side of the World Trade Center. And then before long, uh, all hell broke loose. A major disaster is and we'd spent a, a few hours watching on television the terrible events of that day unfold. I thought about uh, the towers ablaze, the smoke, the ash, and before long, they morphed and evolved in my mind into the images of Auschwitz, the chimneys, the smoke, the ash. An expert on the Middle East, Rob Satloff guessed that Islamist extremists had repeated their 1993 attack on the Twin Towers. Later that day, Manhattan was an eerie place. The place was empty. It's a ghost town. You could walk right down the center stripe of Fifth Avenue. And so I went for a walk and uh, began to think about the gulf of knowledge and of understanding not between the Muhammad Atas, as we came to learn, the actual perpetrators, but the societies, our modern Western American society, and what I assume to be the Arab Muslim society from which the perpetrators of 9-11 came. For Satloff, their different attitude to the Holocaust is the most powerful example of this cultural divide. I decided that my modest contribution to healing the wounds of September 11th were to try to address the problem of Holocaust ignorance and Holocaust denial in Arab societies. 